Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back. I finally got around to getting Not Forgotten and I want to talk about it a little bit. And to some of you, it might come as a surprise that I didn't have it, so I want to talk about that first. Now, fair warning and full disclaimer, I'm about to say some things that you might not agree with. In fact, I might say some things coming up that's going to make you have it be your number one priority and only mission to try to change my mind. That's okay. I'm always completely transparent with you, and I feel that we have that relationship. So what's about to happen is I'm going to share with you my full opinion on these pinnacle hand cannons, Luna and Not Forgotten. Before I jump into a small review with some facts on it, please remember the dust has settled. What's happened has happened. The nerfs have come and gone. I now have all the information. I feel like I can finally talk freely about all this and how it's impacted the community. There are some things that they could have done differently, sure, with how they nerfed Luna and Not Forgotten, but I'm not here for that. I won't get into that, such as changes. The changes have been made. We're moving forward forward and after my opinion, which is most of the video, I will get into that not forgotten. We'll talk about its range, how it compares to Luna, and a little bit more. Some stuff we already know, but it's important to note. First, I'm a console player. Luna and Not Forgotten absolutely dominated for a long time before they got changed. I saw them in every single game that I played. Secondly, I'm a content creator, somewhat of a weapon gypsy, because I have to be. I use them all. Let's say I'm talking about Huckleberry. I'll use it for two to three days, getting gameplay, narrowing down the best ease of use cases, or the best use cases. Things like that, not to mention tip videos, discussion videos, build videos, all of it. I'm not really a gameplay channel, but the truth is, a lot of the time, I don't have the time. So getting Not Forgotten was always on the back burner for me, because content comes first. Every player has their quote, try hard loadout. That one loadout that they're gonna bring out when they need to win. Whether it's gonna be comp, whether it's a stacked team in quick play. Luna was never that for me when I had it, so Not Forgotten definitely wouldn't be. And a lot of you asked me when I talked about it on Twitter recently why I didn't have it. The truth is, when or if I get Not Forgotten, I wouldn't use it. So let me tell you why. As someone who covers the game and studies the inner workings of it, Luna and Not Forgotten were extremely potent weapons that caused major issues. When I reviewed Luna's Howl originally, I basically said it was too good. I didn't call for any nerfs or anything like that. I knew that we were going to see them in every single game until they were possibly reworked, because they truly were special. But when I got Luna in my hands, ASAP when it came out, it left a very sour taste in my mouth. I have about 200,000 total Crucible PvP kills. I used it heavily at the start, getting gameplay using it, but there was a point where I put it down. Enough is enough, it simply was not a fun weapon to use. I'm an above average player and I didn't feel good using it at all because to me, again my personal opinion, I was never really drawn to it because it was easy street. In the current sandbox it broke all the rules, especially at 180 RPMs at the start because the precision frame was key. Remember, we didn't have the recoil changes, so that precision frame broke those rules. Little to no bloom, little to no recoil, accurate in the air. This is all combined with that extremely fast 0.67 TTK and all you needed to do was land two headshots and one body shot from a precision frame. It's completely sideways from the rest of the game. So it kind of turned into something I didn't like seeing. Lesser skilled players back then had a very, very hard time getting to 2100, while better players got it immediately and then absolutely dominated with it for months. The ease of use compared to a regular hand cannon, or any other weapon for that matter, was night and day as far as lethality. So when the time came for me to go for Not Forgotten, I chose not to, because I personally wouldn't use it. My time was spent doing different things. And when doing those different things, like again, reviewing something like Huckleberry, I would find six stacks running Dust Rock Blues with Luna or Not Forgotten, sending nasty messages. I'm thinking, well, you're literally using one of the best, if not the best PVP shotgun in the game with the easiest and most lethal hand cannon to use in the game. The results are kind of expected here. It got to a point where that was the norm, and that was so crazy to me. The ease of use, two head, one body being the norm norm of the Crucible, like that's Destiny Crucible. And if that wasn't bad enough, then you have Recluse come out, you don't even need to aim that thing, you just spray it down. But the Crucible as a whole was really backwards to me, and a lot of it was locked behind a rich get richer type situation. Because again, for a lot, 2100 was easy to reach, but for even more, 2100 felt unattainable. I even made a video, you can do this, because you know what? I mean, the game is supposed to be fun. And I'm telling you right now, you know, new players, if they had something like Luna, they could compete a little bit better, but in, a, in an above average player's hands. It was just kind of silly. And those players that didn't have it, getting on that road to 2100, they're going against Luna and Not Forgotten. And back then, most of the time, you couldn't even get out your final shot to even compete. Even something like Ace of Spades could only fire two shots, couldn't even fire its third before that .67 ate you alive. And meanwhile, it's doing it with little to no recoil, hitting two head, one body, ease of use. The amount of skill, in my opinion, 
was getting the rank itself from comp, not the weapon. And the worst part of all of this is that players who really pushed to get to 2100 went against the stacks, more and more players using it, and then they finally got there, and then it gets nerfed. The entire history of these things has been a bad experience for everyone. That's my personal opinion though. From good players getting the weapon and then destroying everyone less capable to average player getting the weapon much, much later through blood, sweat, and tears, then watching it get nerfed is just bad. So like, I feel for everyone. I mean, as we're going down the timeline, the weapons are kind of done for the most part because we're moving on from them. Bungie has stated pretty much that we're moving on from them. I do think that's for the betterment of the game and the community overall. Fast forward to the changes, they made them 150 RPM, but they keep their precision frame. They have Magnificent Hal, it works a tad different. They took away that 0.67 TTK and that made it more tolerable, that made it a lot more balanced. And what it does still have going for it is that two head one body. When you look at 150s as a whole, they're a 3 headshot kill. 140s as a whole, like Ace of Spades or Ostringer, they're a 3 headshot kill as well, same accuracy. A lot of players, myself included, are pushing for 140s to have a better ease of use. Because the 150s, like Spare Rations, are used because they kill faster than 140s and both require the same amount of accuracy. So I believe 140s should have a quality of life change to make them at least 2 headshot 1 body. Remember back in D1, these were 1 headshot 2 body. So it's not asking too much. But if you make all the 140s in the game, in the future have a two headshot, one body, even though not forgotten in Lunar 150s, it starts taking away that special two head, one body that they do. Then it would just simply be a 150, they can two head, one body. Still good, but it's losing more and more of its pinnacle nature. So forever these things are in a bad spot, man, I tell you what. So in conclusion on my opinion piece here, the game is moving on without these two pinnacle weapons, and I haven't said this before so bluntly, but my thought is I understand we all want weapons that make us feel powerful. I want them too, but sometimes in these two weapons case, these two hand cannons, it gets to a point where they're so dominant that they render 90% of the weapons in the game useless. It comes to a point where you just simply cannot compete with them, and they're not even exotics. That's never good. Well, yes, it's the pinnacle reward to chase in in-game PvP. I personally feel, I mean, it just, that wasn't it. We shouldn't have done that. It could have been done better. And I think Bungie sees that now because something like Revoker was perfect. It had a pinnacle perk, but not game breaking at all. I have not forgotten now, and just like Luna, it's not fun for me to use. And I'm not really gonna use it now that I have it. But don't let that take away that these are still good. They're not what they were but they're still good in what they do for their full body of work compared to other weapons. So sorry if I upset some of you guys. I needed to say it though, because all of those are kind of some reasons why it took me so long to get it. And in its stages now, it's way more balanced, but it does have special qualities. Like I don't think it's OP at all. I think it's fine. But by them placing them how they've placed them, I think that's a good thing for the overall health of the game. Now let's talk about how it's doing now. My little opinion piece is over. The reality is, is Not Forgotten is nowhere near the powerhouse it once was, the facts though, and I bring up what I said earlier, it's a good weapon. And anything I said in my opinion piece is completely separate. Don't let that take away from what it actually does and why it still stands out. Precision frame 150, two head, one body. Nothing else can do that. Maybe Thorn, but you should be running five resilience or more, that way you can't be two head, one bodied. But it has extreme ease of use and it competes with anything in the game really. Still, when you do compare the two of them, Luna and Not Forgotten, Luna is all about the stability, Not Forgotten is all about the range. Not Forgotten has 26 more range than Luna, but Luna has 18 more stability. Now, I talked about range in a previous video, and the main point of that video to get across for me is the ceiling and the floor of the hand cannon range. That's my main goal. I purposefully didn't talk about the accuracy cone, stickiness of aim, and overall hit detection. That video was to know what you're getting into when you start trying to get the max range possible, how many meters it's actually adding. For a lot of players, we go back into the statements of PvP devs made years ago. I believe this still holds true, but it's dialed back. Whatever multiplier they used back in the day, it seems to not be there as much. You know, and they said, and it's still something to go off of, the more range equals the better aim assist, the more sticky it feels, especially at longer ranges. Here's the deal. Back in Destiny 1, bloom and first shot accuracy was atrocious. Though it's still here in Destiny 2, Destiny 2 would be like a 2 out of 10 on this scale, and Destiny 1 would be a 10 out of 10. That's how bad it was in Destiny 1. This right here is one of my favorite clips of all time. Just remember how far this game has come. It does not happen like this in Destiny 2. It happens, but not like this. Never like this. And Destiny 2 is nowhere near this. Not Forgotten does feel a tad bit more sticky than Luna's Howl, but it's not absolutely necessary. And the notion that it widens the hitbox a bit with its range combined with its aim assist, there's a small truth to that, but honestly, it's still gonna happen. Like, even right here with Not Forgotten, the shot misses. 
And another thing I, I wanted to point out in that range video is that hand cannons are now in a position that they're either going to be in range or they're not going to be in range. It's very black and white, no gray area. Taking shots at 40 plus meters really hurts you now. And even taking shots from that range with something like Not Forgotten, you aren't even doing that much damage because of the severe fall off. Any hand cannon at 40 meters. No amount of range stat or aim assist is going to change that. And on top of it all, the shots are either going to hit or they're not at that far of a range. There's something weird going on with MagHal, and it's probably tied to frames and latency. I was doing some research, and on PC, Drewski was getting a 3-shot kill range up to 33 meters, and that's better than most hand cannons in the game. Well, on console, here at 31 meters, Not Forgotten doesn't 3-shot. With the 3-shot range, I tried all variations, all headshots, 2 head, 1 body. Its max distance was 30 and a half on console. It went down at 31 meters. Lunas Hal had a 3-shot distance of 29 and a half meters, so 1 meter less on the 3-shot kill range. Again, this is console testing, so that kind of puts them both in line with other hand cannons. Now on PC with mouse and keyboard or controller, from what I've seen, you get a tad bit more as far as meters. Collectively on console at least, Luna Not Forgotten are fairly similar. One has more range, one has more stability. And I want to bring up again, there is some truth to the hit detection and range and hitbox, but I honestly believe through the five years of playing the game, covering it, what they said years ago in that podcast has really been dialed back from D1 as far as Bloom though, specifically on Bloom. Hit detection wise, I feel it's fairly accurate. Every now and again, you're still going to get those Bloom shots, your first initial accuracy being off. It just happens. I do want to stress that Not Forgotten does feel a tad bit more sticky than Luna, but that's something that we can't really measure. We just go off the fact that we know that it has more range and it feels a tad stickier, but it's not so beneficial that it absolutely renders Luna worthless. The range nerf to hand cannons that I discussed in that previous video showing that cap of 28 meters really hurt these two pinnacle hand cannons. It hurt every hand cannon, but these two especially. At the end of the day though, they have tight accuracy cones. Not Forgotten is really good from the air because of that, due to that precision frame. They're easy to use because of that frame. They're two head, one body. No matter what others say, they're still good. They're definitely a shell of their former selves, but they're still really good with their collective body of work. It's just not a full force, 100% dominant, in your face, you're going down type of weapon. Think of how many weapons have come out since Luna and I Forgotten, how many weapons are coming with all the new seasons. Now, aside from the last word, even with nerfing the range to all hand cannons, within range, nothing would compete with them being 100 80 RPM with a 0.67 TTK to this day, nothing would compete. That's a fact, and as much as players don't think so, it's in a good spot now. They're just no longer dominant. It's got a ton of special qualities. Bungie has made the Road to 2100 and Legend easier since these were first introduced. Console players, again, you're gaining about one meter and a tad bit more stickiness than Luna. So if you're going for Legend or Unbroken, 100% go for Not Forgotten if you don't have it. But in conclusion, to me, just like Luna, it's not that fun of a weapon to use, but it might be for you. I personally don't see that much upside to Not Forgotten over Luna on console. And of course that's subjective, but the range that they place for hand cannons is my reasoning. If that 27 more range did come into play, then yes. But if you're in range with Luna, it's more stable, you're going to be fine. They do the same thing. At least from all my testing, my feel, and my overall knowledge of the game. And I do want to bring up again one more time, I get it. The worst part is all the players trying to go for Luna and Not Forgotten, having to go against players already using Luna and Not Forgotten, not being able to compete, then finally climbing up there to 2100 to get it, only to see it nerfed. I just believe the entire history of this thing has been a bad experience for everyone. But now, these weapons, for the most part, are done with. If you still use it, it's fine. It still does well. Don't let anything I say take away from that, but I'm not gonna use it as some main lethal weapon like I'm trying hard at all. I think Thorn's a lot better, Spare Rations, I think a lot of weapons are better, but these do have ease of use and that goes a long way. You know, in going through this history and timeline, I understand why they couldn't do pinnacle weapons anymore because they're not sustainable. They're really not. It has come to a point to where they're just so dominant and so good and a lot of it should be reserved as an exotic and the substitution of something like Randy's Throwing Knife, it's just a really cool perk set. I'm fine with those in the future. So let's talk about in the comment section to myself and other comments please be respectful you guys have always been great about that and i decided to do this now because we're on the eve of a new season these have been changed for a long time now i feel like i can be 100 percent transparent with you and talk freely i know that it's a super touchy subject but the entire game has moved on it's over and done with i'm super excited about season of dawn i can't wait to get into the gear thank you for watching and until the next one i am cool guy